Hi, my friends. I hope a lot of you have been tuning into my Yela Productions art channel. Um, I've done crayon tutorials and some acrylic tutorials. Uh, today, I'm going to show you something that I've been doing this summer since we've had a really nice summer weather. I've been painting outside and inside with friends who are keeping distance apart. And it seems like a lot of people this summer like to paint stones. Can you see that? be cute. We're going to do a bug today. And you can do any bug that you want. It could be any color. I'm going to copy one of these and maybe do a little bit something different. And you can do whatever kind of bug you want. So I'm going to tell you in just a moment what materials you need. So get ready. Okay, so for materials, the first thing of course that you're going to need is a rock. I've got a nice round smooth rock here. And I'm just going to paint the one side of the bug. You can see I've got one kind of like that here. Just paint the top side because the underside will be facing down. You won't see it. If you have a, um, a rock or a stone that has a bit of a curve to it, you might think, hey, that looks like a bug. That's what I did with some of these. Sometimes you see a stone and you say, wow, that's perfect for this kind of thing. So pick your perfect rock. You're only going to need two tools. One of them is a q-tip. You're going to pull the fluffy end off of one side of the q-tip like I did here and that will be your circle size number three. The other side of the q-tip you are going to roll in paint any color but white was white is good. Roll it in the paint to get it all full. Flatten the tip because what you want you want that to dry and you want a nice flat top because that will be your circle number four. Okay, look at mine's fluffy. I need to still work on that a little bit. So I'm going to flatten that, roll it, roll it, roll it so that the fluff stays contained and the paint will dry it into a good circle. And I'm going to put that aside because I already have one here. The other thing is to use a toothpick that is pointy on two sides. You have a really fine point on one end and I'm going to suggest you get some scissors, oopsie, and cut the other end so that you have another size circle. This will be your circle number two size. See that? So we have pointy, very tiny number one, number two, number three, and number four. Four circles to make all these little dots on our bugs. The other thing you're going to need, of course, is paints. The first paint you're going to need is black because we're going to paint the, the whole top of the stone black first and wait for it to dry and then we'll add our dots. We'll probably need some white. Use whatever colors you like. I like this brilliant yellow green. I have turquoise and I have neon orange. The other thing you want to use, you don't really need a glass of water because you can't put q-tips and toothpicks in a glass of water, but get an old cloth and wet it. Sorry, I keep bumping my camera. So you're going to wet it. And every time you dip your brush into another color, your brush, your tool, you're going to wipe the color off on the wet. And I'm turning it, I'm twisting it to get the color off before I dip it into my next color. So there you go. So I've got my paints here, my white, a dot of green, my blue, and my orange. First thing I did was painted the top of my rock black. Now, I'm using an old tile here because these tiles clean amazingly. So please, if you have something like this or something plastic, use it because that cleans really easily and you can use it again and again. And the paint bits go in the garbage, not down the drain. Going down the drain is not a good idea. So my rock is black. Um, and yes, you will probably need to use a paintbrush for that. Um, but then when it's finished, wash your brush because you won't need it again. And let it dry. So I think my black bug is dry enough for me to start putting some colors on. The first thing I'm going to do is um, separate the eye area from the rest of the bug and I'm going to give it a spine, kind of like this little guy has a spine. But I'm also going to make the same color around the head part. So I'm going to use, let me see, let me see. Uh, dot number three, the small end of my q-tip. And I think I'm going to use mm, 
blue. So I'm going to dip it in and I'm going to start a dot in the middle just about where I want that to go. And then I'm going to put a semicircle and I'm not dipping the brush again and again because I want the dots to get smaller as it gets to the end. Okay, just do that one again. I'm going to dip again, go over that same one at the top, and I'm going to dip, I'm going to dab, I guess that's what you call it, down so that I've got a bit of a separated area. Now I'm going to take that and roll it onto my damp cloth because I don't want that blue on it right now. I'm going to use my small tool. Which one is it? Da -da -da -da. Um, I'm going to use number two, dot number two, the big end of the toothpick. I'm going to stick it in that blue and just go over some of these little dots because they kind of ran out of paint. And I'm going over them just very carefully to get that rounded look of the dot. And I'm going to clean that as well. I'm going to go back to my Q-tip, the small dot of the Q-tip, my dot number three, and I'm going to dip it in the blue. And for every dot I make, I'm going to dip right back into that paint. And this is going to be the spine of the bug. Don't ask me what kind of bug this is. Maybe we can create a new species of bug. To the end. Okay, washing that off. La 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 la. All right, let's give our bug some eyes. I'm going to use the biggest dot end. This is dot number four, right? The painted side of our Q-tip, which should be dry by now, because you did that first before you even painted your black bug. So it should be nice and dry. And I'm going to dip it into my white. And I want to make sure there's not some nice paint at the end of that. And I'm going to be very careful with eye number one. Ooh, that's a nice round dot. Dip again. See, that's kind of like soft ice cream. Don't lick it. Let's do eye number two. Sometimes they're different sizes and you just have to tweak one of them a little bit. But let's see if I can do it. Oh, I think they're the same size. Good, yeah? Yeah, yeah, good. All right, I'm going to... Wipe the paint off of that one. And I'm going to use the same big number four dot. And I'm going to put some orange dots on my bug. So dipping into the orange, maybe one here. Okay, I chose six orange dots. I'm going to wipe off the paint. I'm going to pick up my toothpick again and I am going to um, put, I'm going to use my number two dot, still haven't used my teeny tiniest, my number two dot and I'm going to dip it into the white and I'm going to go around an orange dot. See how I like that. So make sure you've got paint on it and you want to see a little, I don't know what you'd call that, a little tail so that you know you've got enough paint on there. Okay, And I'm going to do one dot at the top very gently at the top I'm gonna to go all around but I'm going to do it in a clock um, I'm gonna do it like a clock so that I know how many dots I need so first I'm putting my first dot at what would be 12 o'clock the 12 on a clock the next one would go directly across from that to where the 6 is on the clock gentle dot go back into the paint then I'm gonna to go to the 3 on the clock and what's across from the three? Yes, the nine. And then I'm going to put one dot in between them all. Very gently, because I want to see the black between all the spaces. And don't worry if you mess up. They're still going to be pretty. I've done quite a few of these bugs now. And some of them were absolute messes, and I painted black over the whole thing and started again. So I'm going to do that one, and then I'm going to 
turn my bug over a little bit, say move buggy. And I'm going to do the same thing with one of the orange dots on the other side of the bug. Now, let's just see what the other side looks like. Let's use our super pointy side, our dot number one, dipping it into the white paint, and I'm going to do it around the other uh, orange dots, and I wonder if we're going to need more dots. What do you think? Start with the 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Way, 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 way too much paint on that. You see that? That is going to be messy. I'm just going to make these ones a little bit bigger. And you know what? I like that. I don't want to put any more dots in between them, so I'm going to do them all like that. Same number of dots. See if I can take some of this one off. Same number of dots around the little ones. Finished my little dots around the big orange dots. Now, how about, how about, how about some green dots with our biggest dot, number four. Into the green. Got my little tail on my dot. That's a good dot, good thing to have. And dot. Back into the paint. And dot. Back into the paint. Dot. Now I'm just going to fill my empty spaces. Ooh, that tail is too long. I want to get some of that off. So. Okay, wiping the paint off on my wet cloth. And I'm waiting for the white to dry on the eyes before I add the eyeballs. But you know what? You can stop right here. This is really cute. It's a cute little bug. If you want to do something more, well, you can. I'm going to add, maybe I'll put some number two size dots of blue. I don't want the colors to touch because that's where you see the black between them and it really makes the colors pop. I think I am happy with that. If you decide you just want to go dot crazy, you can do that. You can put some other dots on top. Maybe you have another orange or you have a red. You can put a dot on top of this existing orange or a darker green on top of the light green. Just use a smaller dot. So we used, I think, the big one, number four, for the round dot. You would use maybe the number three for a different color inside the dot. Okay, I am going to put some black eyeballs on my bug. I'm going to use my dot number three, the third largest one. I'm going to dip it into my paint because I want lots of paint on there. And I'm going to have it look a little bit cross-eyed because I think they're so cute when they're cross-eyed. So I'm going to put it inside on top of the white. Dot carefully. There's one. Back into the paint. There's two. Okay, and we're done. There's your beautiful bug. Put it in your garden. You can cover it with um, Mod Podge. If you don't want to put it outside, it'll give it a nice glossy look, um, but it is not rain proof so it will get um, kind of sludgy and you'll be able to peel the Mod Podge off or don't worry about it just put it outside when it gets um, when it gets a little bit icky just paint over it you can just paint it over and over again now I just realized I forgot to fix that one little blotchy white spot so I'm I'm using my small my number one dot just the smallest part of the toothpick and I'm just going to cover that white mess and make that dot look round again. All right. Ta-da! 
Bye everyone. Thanks for watching.